people are looking for certain things in food, whether it's free range, whether it's organic, whether it's you know hormone free, blah blah blah, grass fed, and I think wine's the next step. The public has a very romantic idea of what wine's about. They think it's just, oh yeah, wine, some little guy like me, working in the cellar, working in the vineyard, bringing the grapes in, you know, doing this. In Napa, we're talking about a lot of modern technology. Six pages, single space, of legal additives that can be put into wine and don't have to be put on the label. It's almost like using a lot of makeup or a plastic surgery or a mask on the wine. They've gone to the extreme of technology. They've gone to the extreme of ripeness. They've gone to the extreme of manipulation. The, the industry is, is like General Motors. The wines that I produce are so different from almost anybody's wines in California. Many winemakers are shocked uh, at the way I make wine. We let the weeds grow. Water is a precious commodity here, and we just don't think that a vineyard should be sucking up water from an agricultural district. We do not inoculate, we do not adjust acidities, we do not fine, we do not filter, we do not rack, we do not use new oak. The idea is to produce wines that truly represent the essence of the terroir. interest in natural winemaking has really taken off and people are fascinated with the concept. Trying to let the imprint of the land rather than the imprint of the winemaker. Hopefully it tastes a lot. A lot. <laughs> and I don't care if it's better or worse or different because that is not an interest. But what I am interested in is that it does express the special life and the special meaning of this place. Because that is a thing of beauty, and that is real, that cannot be changed.